Hello, brothers and sisters. Good morning for those of you who are participating on PeaceNet and everyone else. Just I hope you're having a great day. Uh, actually, I wanted to let everybody know I'm going to Korea on January 25 and I'll probably be back sometime in the third week of February. There's a lot going on in Korea, True Mother, and all the leaders are working so hard on this World Summit, which will really be held between February 10 to 14. And there may be several other events, but it's not entirely clear. There's probably not going to be a big leaders meeting and other things like that. Really, the entire focus is on this World Summit. So please keep all of those things in your prayers. True Mother is offering devotions every day for this. And right here in Asia, Honorable Eknat Dakal is working miracles, going from nation to nation to meet with all of our precious VVIPs, heads of state, and those that we are working with to support True Mother and the reunification of the Korean Peninsula. Heavenly Unified Korea, which will surely lead to heavenly unified world. In the meantime, what can we do here uh, in our own homes, in my life, within my family life, within my mission area, wherever I am, we want to make sure that our days are spent being productive in support of what True Mother is focusing on. So I just want to start with a few words that Mother shared recently, actually January 8th, uh, to some Korean pastors. And this is just one paragraph of her speech. She mentioned that in 1962, which was also the year of the tiger, true parents gave birth to Hyojinim. Early members and people receiving revelations declared, rejoice, the prince is born. So we held a special celebration. However, with 20 days to go before the celebration of the new year of the tiger, it cannot be said that the history of the unification movement has gone as planned. So from these words, and I'll share more of these words again with you in a later message, because there's so much in what True Mother is sharing. And remember, especially when Mother's speaking with the Korean pastors and the Korean members, she really earnestly, earnestly longs for them to do their best, to bring about the realization of Korea's responsibility. And for so many years and so many decades with true parents focusing in America and everywhere else in the world, honestly, it's beautiful to see true mother dedicating so much of her personal time to seeing what we can do in Korea in a short amount of time. True and incredible miracles are about to occur. So how can we contribute to that? That's really the question I wanted to touch upon today. Well, Remember, right now we are in the middle of a 21-day regional condition, a special condition that was initiated with the settlement of the Chonchim One. That's our regional level Chonchim One, right here at Bangkok headquarters, which is also our regional headquarters. So just a few uh, feet away in our prayer room is our regional level Chonchim One. Many of you attended, I believe. I know all of our leaders attended on that day uh, on uh, January 7. And so on that day, we initiated a 21 day special condition of repentance and redetermination. The following day on the 8th, we had a repentance and redetermination H.J. Chombo workshop at Pak Chong. Many of you participated, right? That was beautiful with Chanyang Yoksa and prayer. And we also did a bequeathal ceremony for the 11 nations that already received their Chonchimon. So I wanted to touch upon this 21 day condition. I think many of you remember what I mentioned on that Saturday, but the theme that we're going for is really connected to True Mother's words here, because what True Mother's saying here is, you know, already in 1962, when Hyojinim was born, there was this, this, ear, this uh, aura of rejoicing, the prince is born. You know, this is a whole new era. Uh, but mother has to conclude that paragraph by saying, but it hasn't all really gone to plan. And not just with regard to how we've supported true parents and true family in, in particular, but really, frankly, every providential uh, milestone was delayed again and again and again. So that's why I asked our leaders especially and our members during these 21 days to repent, that we can repent first 
not just on one thing and not just symbolically, but really reflect on ourselves. For example, in these key areas. Number one, where have I been lacking in my mission field, in my public mission? What it is, is it that I feel I should have done better, could have done better? And therefore, you know, what can I repent for that? But also what can I determine to do for that? And not just pray about it, but actively start to do those things to change those ways during this 21 day time period. But not just about the mission. I also asked a second area, which is to reflect on our family life. So in relationship to my spouse or to my children. So in what way have I been lacking as a husband or as a father, as a brother or a son? And the same for the sisters, right? As a wife or a husband, as a wife or a mother, etc. I'm asking each of the leaders to really reflect in detail, you know, in meditation to be guided by God, in what way do I really need to improve in this new year of the tiger? Uh, and also, I asked uh, the leaders to consider, you know, quite substantially about what I mentioned in my last sermon, which is, where are we going at the end of 2022 and 2023? And remember, I talked about our third HJ love offering, piggy bank, and also the piggy bank for the HJ Chombo family pilgrimage, holy pilgrimage to Korea. So, you know, that will take some time and some money to prepare for, but we want to go together with our families, together with our tribe members. And this is something that we should substantially prepare for and make some determination and plan for, right? So I've asked our leaders to be praying on these things, but also to substantiate these things during these 21 days, to make real changes and plans in relationship to our family relationships. For example, if I feel I've been lacking in some way towards my spouse, I'm making efforts to improve that, not just pray about it in the Chon Chim Wan, but actually change myself daily. So this is the spirit of it. And of course, all of our members can be participating in this uh, 21 day condition. If for any reason you didn't hear about it yet or you didn't start it, you can start right now. But also remember that I'm asking all of our nations and all of our local level centers that receive the Chon Chim Wan to start the exact same uh, prayer points for 21 days. Uh, no matter when you start, it's okay. Even though this is all symbolizing trans transferring from 2021 to 2022, even for those of you that may take a few more weeks to get your Chonshim One shipped to you, don't worry. You can still do this theme of a prayer condition. And in the meantime, uh, you can start right now, at least to join us at the regional level. Why? Because mother's really getting ready for the new year, right? At the same time, as mother speaks to the leaders about getting ready for the new year, she's still commenting on how much more we should have done by now, right? So that's why I'm asking, starting with me, I'm asking us all to repent. That's all, just to repent and to be honest with myself. What is it that I need to do better? What is it that I, you know, what kind of mistakes have I been making that I can improve? And then uh, at the end of this 21 day prayer condition, actually, on January 29, we have a second HJ Chombo workshop at Pak Chong. And we still have Dr. Kim In Chon with us, who is up there now. And we are going to invite everybody to this. We want 100% participation from all of our members across Asia Pacific One. So if you can fly to, you know, Thailand and join us, if there's still space to fly here and join us and do quarantine and physically come, and you have money for the plane ticket, please come, okay? Uh, it's going to start at 2 p.m. on Saturday, January, no, 1 p.m., 1 p.m. on Saturday, uh, January 29. And it will go on through to, to conclude at the end of Sunday service on Sunday at 12 p.m., January 30th. The perp So for those of you that can't come, of course, we're going to be streaming it online. But what I mean by that is if you are going to participate online, please do so with the heart, how lucky you are that you don't have to actually fly to Thailand because it's so expensive and difficult. So please participate fully if you're participating on your laptop or cell phone. Anyway, it's going to be a one and a half day, beautiful workshop, and it's really themed like a new beginning. So we had a 
a kickoff on you know January 8, uh, a full day workshop at Pak Chung, and we're going to end on January 29. And these two workshops really bookend this 21 day experience of repentance and redetermination. That's the theme, that's the symbolism of it, and that's really the substance of it as well. So please participate, please think about it right now uh, more deeply. If you didn't understand yet, please think so, think about it now. In what ways can you, you know, contribute more? You know, in 2021, you reflect, you can reflect on what it is that you did well, but really reflect on, you know, what it is you want to do better and commit to it now. In what ways you want to be more present and loving in your family and commit to it now. And also, how committed are you? And can you see the vision of working towards the third HJ love offering for the construction of the Holy Temple and also the uh, pilgrimage to Korea, right? Which I mentioned in my last message. So these are the things I want us all to really be praying about and substantiating right now. And please attend in full on January 29, 2 p.m. Bangkok time, sorry, 1 p.m. Bangkok time, uh, 1 p.m. Bangkok time, January 29. 100% participation would be fantastic, so please come. And then finally, I just wanna get you excited, and remind you that this Sunday, uh, our Sunday service is going to be uh, a little later, it's a 2 p.m. kickoff of our seventh, I think it's our seventh HJ Peace Festival. Yeah, HJ Peace Festival. This time it's going to be hosted by Greater China, Greater China. And the theme is world peace through Chinese family values, okay? These traditional values that they have in China, uh, which are absolutely extraordinary and world famous. So why not? World peace through Chinese family values. So this Sunday, G January 23 at 2 p.m., uh, you'll be sent the link by your local leaders or national leaders. And in the meantime, I just want to say have a fantastic day. And uh, I'm on my way to Korea soon, but I'll be in touch with you just the same. And please pray for True Mother and a victorious world summit. This must surely be more than anything we could have expected, right? So let's pray and let's substantiate our prayers. And we've been gifted with this Chon Shim Wan. So there's nothing that we cannot do. Brothers and sisters, we have been blessed. We are getting ready to enter into the 10th year of Chon Il Guk. So let us clean ourselves and really prepare our minds and initiate a new determination for the black, for the year of the black tiger, 2022. Okay, God bless you. Thank you so much. Adieu.